Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 11:31. If the righteous is repaid on earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner? This is the last verse in chapter 11. And we're finishing talking once again about the righteous who follow the Lord and then the wicked who are disobedient from the Lord. When I was reviewing and studying this verse, though, I found that there is actually two ways to interpret it. The first way is this idea that it's talking about uh, the righteous will be rewarded, um, compensated on earth. And if the righteous are rewarded, then the sinners are going to be uh, punished. So much more that the righteous are rewarded than the sinners will be punished. The second part, the second type that I had found that explains this verse is the idea that even the righteous will get consequences and punishments at, punishment at times. So if you think about the righteous who are following the Lord will get reprimanded at times, how much more the wicked and the sinner? And I tend to think this is probably what this verse is saying and i wanted to focus a little bit on when we are saved we accept jesus christ as our savior we believe he is the son of god and he died on the cross for our sins then we will then go to heaven we but then there's a process of sanctification where we are growing in the lord and growing in that relationship and we are working toward becoming more and more obedient to the Lord. Those are two separate processes. And they the first one is a one-time thing. You get saved, you're accepted into heaven. But the second one, grown in the Lord, may or may not happen and, and can happen for the rest of your life. Because some people don't realize that there is this process of sanctification, uh, working toward growing in obedience of the Lord. It doesn't automatically happen because the Holy Spirit is in us, because we are battling with the flesh and the spirit. And part of being obedient to the Lord is not following the flesh and, and listening to the spirit and saying less, yes to the spirit and the word of God. Well, even though we are forgiven for our sins, and at any point we can ask the Lord to forgive us of our sins, we are human. We do live in the flesh at times. And I think the thing that the Lord wants me to remind us is that if we continue to live in the flesh, even though we're saved, there are consequences. Like there will be um, some type of punishment at some point there's and that time frame is between you and god and god makes those decisions right but i think some people are like well i'm saved i have the holy spirit god's a loving god which he is um there will not be consequences for me falling to the flesh but just as with a parent and a child there are consequences if you continue to not listen to the parent and they are good parenting and they're parenting you, then God does the same thing. The good news for us Christians is that we can go to the Lord and repent and say sorry for following the flesh and try to turn away from following in the flesh. You know, try to make that active effort to not follow in the flesh anymore. Those who are not following God at all don't know God at all. The good news for them is to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and to repent of their sin. So I pray that the Holy Spirit has encouraged you today, and I thank you for listening.